Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to episode 9 of the Everton Football Manager series. Before we get into it, make sure you drop a like on the video and be sure to subscribe. Today, we've actually got some quite good good scenes. Um, we've got some games to get through, but before that, there's actually the opportunity to get some people in on the free with contracts that are going to be expiring. Just a little look at some of the people that we can and can't get. Obviously, this is someone... I definitely am interested in. Obviously, there's certain players. There's no point in even trying. Um, we'll have a quick look in the expired. Pretty much the same. But definitely in the expiring, there's some people that we can snap up to at least bolster our squad a little bit. So I'm going to keep cutting back and forth to when we make offers for players because some of these players have already got transfers that are agreed and some players are just unrealistic like Mbappe um we literally couldn't get him so I'm going to have a quick look through and I'll come back to you once we're making offers for some of these players so the first one I'm definitely looking and I'm really interested in is Onana um a fantastic goalkeeper a star player for us and he would be Pickford would then be rotation or he'd be sold um I trust Onana he looks very good and he seems happy with that the contract. Now, oh, I do not want him having a release clause that low. Um, I'm fine with these. His wage is fine. Can we get that down to two million? Possibly. He's adamant on that. Okay. Can we get it down to like 2.3? We can. And that, that is perfect. Um, Going to be our first team goalkeeper on the free, worth about like 10 million. So, you know, you, you can't really go wrong there. And there are a couple more players I'm looking at. Um, one of them is going to be none other than Kessie. I think he'd be a perfect player to get just for another option in midfield, really, because we do play a lot of games. And at the moment, we're sort of, you know, balancing people here, there, and everywhere. Um, and he does play this role pretty much flawlessly so let's have a little look see if he's interested he's not interested um he's not matching his ambitions which is this is a, it's a big shame it really is because he would have um fitted in quite well um looking at the other players down here i'm not against getting hector Her oh he's tra transfer um already arranged um make sure i've not missed anyone i'm not against signing slightly older players obviously um Somebody like Ericsson wouldn't be too bad, but we don't really need him just yet. Um, Aspel Equator, 32, would be another backup option, um, but he's wanted by some really, really good clubs. Um, Raul Garcia, I'm not too interested in. Bas Dost, I'm definitely not interested in. This guy, I could be interested in, but he's more of a winger than he is an AM, in my opinion. So we'll leave him there. Um, and I think that could be that could be it to be fair in terms of players that we're going for. Um, how does this guy look actually? Well, he looks quite good actually. Can we get him? I mean, he looks decent. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go for him. A bigger club. Disrespect. So what we'll do there, in we'll, we'll leave it for now because we can always come back. And the fact that we've managed to get one signing over the over the um the window is quite good because at the start it was looking like we were going to be down to completely nothing. So I'll come back to you once we've got the lineup against Palace. This is the schedule for today: one Premier League game and then three cup games, um, semi-final and the third round of the FA Cup. So hopefully. We can get the win in the Prem and possibly get ourselves to a final. So, I've just noticed um, there is one player in the scout report who I am tempted to sign purely just for the fact that he looks pretty well balanced and he would be also on the free. Um, just to really give us, you know, a bit of backup um, going forward in this save. And I have seen also down here that Newcastle offered Onana a contract. So it's now down to him to decide. We're going to actually make an offer for this guy and see. Um, no, we can't promise that because we don't play one. He's, he's fine with that. Um, the wage is fine. We're going to lower that down to like 850. 
a three-year contract is fine. And that's perfect. So that's two players over the line now. He will be more backup, but it's a perfect person. Someone like that is ideal because, okay, he's already got another offer, but hopefully they do come to us. We need just backup plays. We need bodies because we've got a stacked midfield. But as you can see from last episode, sometimes we have to play like Godfrey in the midfield and we don't have enough. And it seems like in this save, I'm going to have to try and rely on getting low knees or contract expiries, at least until next season, because we're secure, but they don't give me much to work with. Next season, granted, we've got 26 million, so it's a big season. I'm hoping we can, you know, try and... Um... There's not much in that, is there? We'll just go for mid-table then. Um, try and get a couple of wonder kids, hopefully, from our overseas, but we just have to see how it goes. But we now take on Crystal Palace, and it's a game which I, I think we should be winning, in my eyes. I mean, it's similar to the Wolves game, right? Um... We've got the team to do it. That's something I will say. And we are going to be playing a full-strength team, um, even though we've got a, a cup game next, which is, I think, the semi-final, or the first leg of the um, semi-final. So we're going to be playing this team here. I actually really like the look of it, actually. It's very good. Um, these four here are literally the stars of the show, you could say. So we'll proceed to match. We'll get right stuck in, get into the action, this episode will be slightly longer than the other ones by a few minutes because obviously we had a little bit of transfer business to do and we sort of missed that out at the start of the save because we couldn't do anything. Donnie's got a chance here and we've not really, the only person I've seen score like three kicks consistently in this team is probably Gomez. He's been really good at them and other than that, it's not been, it's not been great to be honest, but I mean, it's not... From from corners, Van der Beek is class, but from actually shooting free kicks is not great. Putting the ball in does a job, but, you know, the actual going for it, that's something I need to change. Possibly, maybe Ali. Um, I don't think any of my fullbacks are Trent, let's put it that way. But it's a quite a slow, wasn't this quite a slow half? Yari Mina with the header, 1-0 up against Crystal Palace. Van der Beek instantly putting the doubters me to shame with a fantastic ball into the box and one nil away against crystal palace where are palace this season actually because they started off quite well i think 13th place so they have dropped off but they are coming back here with zaha great 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 bit of um play there to win the ball back and now we're just passing this about for fun keen tamina to decore back across godfrey beautiful ball over the top richarlison Thought it, thought it just about got it in, but he didn't. Van Der Beek with another ball in, and Yari Mina nearly with another goal. We are going to look to make a sub here. I'm possibly going to consider taking off Godfrey because he is looking rather tired. And we're just going to put... We'll put Kenny there. Um, as for going forward for the last 15, we'll take Richarlison off, bring on Tossoon, and we'll also bring on Gray. Just a fresh set of legs, two sets fresh, two sets of um, fresh legs, sorry. And hopefully, you never know, they might even be able to pinch a goal. But 1-0 isn't too bad at all. We'll definitely take that. Gray, back in. Is that, oh, that's a handball. Back in. Gray, there we go. Tossoon. Oh. He's going over. It's been disallowed. Tossoon nearly come on and was a super sub again. Donny with another chance. Takes that one. Putting me to shame again, gets his free kick goal, and that is going to be a 2 0 win against. Hang on. Okay. Should be a 2 0 win against Crystal Palace. A great save there from Butland, and another last minute opportunity. Van der Beek, and it's gone wide. But overall, a good performance against Crystal Palace. A win which I would say is expected of us by now. I feel like we're, we're, we're at a point in the season where I can't be like. Well, this is going to go either way. Um, I know the teams which, you know, I need to be beaten. I know the teams which I not should be losing, losing to, but it's acceptable if I don't beat. Let's put it that way. But I'm going to come back to you once we've got the lineup for Leicester. And this is the first leg of the semi-finals. So then, we're about to get into the game. 
But Manchester City have come on the door and, well, you know, they're knocking for Calvert-Lewin. And I can't stand City with a passion. So we're going to be scumbags here. And we're going to just send them an offer which they will not accept. And it's going to be 120... No, it won't be. That's a bit excessive. It will be 90 million. And we're going to remove that. And let's see what they say. Um, suggest. So they have they gone up? I mean, offer worth. No, I don't, I don't even know if they did actually up that. Um, we're just going to reject this one then. I don't really want to sell him. We have got a few more um transfer stories, I guess. Begovic is in contract talks with Nice. I couldn't actually even control that, unfortunately. Um, Delph has accepted to go to FC Mitraland. I think that's how you say that. Um, this guy here, I think, was already going. Townsend is in talks to go to Sheffield on loan, um, which is interesting. Tosun was, but I give him a new contract, and I've just rejected Calvert-Lewin his move away because we really can't afford to lose him as a player. Now, this is what I didn't want. Calvert-Lewin wanting to leave. Um, perfect. I said to him, you're not going to get as much football. And he seems happy with that. So, I mean, he obviously... That's good for me to see because it means that he obviously does want to focus on football, get game time, um, which is what I've told him he can't get at City, which he probably... Um, well, he probably would, actually, because um, they do need a striker. Begovic looks like he's going to be making his own decision up, so... Good job I've got Onana coming in. Obviously, Pickford is a fantastic backup to have. But, um... Oh, my God. It gets worse. Where are Newcastle? All about money, isn't it? I guarantee they offered a ridiculous amount of money because they're fighting relegation. Well... I'm not going to come knocking for him when he gets relegated because that is a joke. Luckily now, we can play Allen. Allen is back to Corre, Van der Beek, Patterson, Godfrey, Mina. Original left back. I do have an awful time saying his name. I don't want to butcher it. Um, and this original front three. Now, my plan is to try and kill this in the first leg so we can play rotation in the second. But we are playing Leicester City. The only reason I'm somewhat confident is because they actually did sack um, Brendan Rodgers. Um, I think in the last episode I saw it come up at the end of it. So I'm hoping, based off that, they might be a little bit um, short on confidence, is what I'm hoping. But let's get into it. They're the, they're the ones that broke the ice first with the shot on target. 60% possession as well, which is not good to see. Um, very good team. A very good team, but hopefully we can just carry on what we're doing and get goals, which we've been very good at this season. Um, Delhi into Richarlison, Van der Beek, Richarlison, Delhi, and it's 1 0. Now, is this the goal that could send Leicester City down the dark alley, put their heads down, and you know, maybe they're not going to be able to get back into this? But Leicester City always seem to have a goal in them on Football Manager, I will say. They always seem to find a way, but Calvert Lewin down the side, nothing there. Great recovery here into Donny Decore. Ball over into Delhi and Delhi Alley with his 12th goal of the season. And this man is playing at his finest again. He really is. Decore, Godfrey, Mina, Pickford. Just building the pitch slowly here. It's really good play. A ball possibly into the box. Van der Beek on the edge. Oh, it's unlucky. It's a good strike. But Delhi Alley is really playing some of the best football I've seen from him in a while. They have got a set piece here, though, and it's a bit all over the place there. I don't know what was going on. Um, obviously, Pickford is going to remain the first-team goalkeeper now because Onana decided to snub us for Newcastle, which is not nice at all. I do wish the worst for him indeed. But we're going to carry on, actually, with the same eleven for now because the game's not killed. Um, we get another one. I will make some substitutions. But for now, we want to keep this on and try and get another because with, free, with a free goal advantage, we shouldn't be looking to, you know, um, let them come back into the game too much at all. 
But Leicester City are a team you can never, you know, turn your eyes away from. They've got some really, really good talent. Um, I don't think anyone will deny that. They've got the likes of, obviously, Tielemans in there, um, Castagna, who's also very good, and Vardy, who can also do it. I don't know if he's actually playing this game, but... Whenever Richarlison gets the ball, it's lights out for me. I always sense something's going to happen. He looks dangerous, and as I say that, another fantastic goal from him. One thing that I like from these midfielders are that they can all play a ball over the top, and they do it incredibly well. Um, the likes of Allen, um, when he's not getting sent off, is incredible. He can distribute the ball right over the top, and... Eight out of ten times they come off, and it's, it's all that I need is to ball over the top. We've got two fantastic forwards, and that's how we get our goals. And granted, we're not the best at the back. We're really not the best at the back. But we are sort of finding a way to beat even some of the top teams. Donny's got a chance there just wide, and now we are going to make some subs. We're going to bring on Tosun for Calvert-Lewin. We're going to bring on Fabian Delph for Decore. And we, who else is very, very tired? Van der Beek, possibly. Get on Tom Davies as well. And we're going to leave it like that. I think we can make five subs, can't we? We can, so we may as well. Um, we'll bring him on. And why not actually? Oh, not Tossoon. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that at all. Um, right, let's cancel it. And we'll try that again. I literally just lost my head there big time. So Richarlison come off for Rondon there we go simple and this gives me an opportunity to rest a few players and hopefully we don't concede by me doing this um because we, we do want the advantage but you know three goals to the to the none it's quite tempting to do what I've just done and rotate because if we get away with it we've also had the opportunity to rest players in time for the next game which is massive but we're playing the ball around very nice here. Um, down the side. And Delhi Van der Beek has a pop shot. Unfortunately, nothing comes from it. But um, overall, I mean, it's been quite an even game in terms of statistics, right? But we're just taking the chances. Leicester aren't. They do have an opportunity here, though. A very poor ball. And Delph just looking to get this ball forward into Tossoon. Back into Patterson. And it's a fantastic goal from Davies. It actually it did look like it went down the middle. Um, possibly the keeper could have done better, but... I mean, they're playing a good team. No Vardy, but they're playing Dakar, Barnes. You know, they've got they've got some of their finest talent on display. And this is a, this is run and riot. I think he could be offside, Delhi. Hopefully he isn't. It's been disallowed. But still, a 4-0 win in the first game. And that puts us clear favourites um, going into the next leg. Which, you know, now I possibly, if I need to, can play rotation. So if we have a look. Obviously, now we play Villa in the third round of the FA Cup, which I will be playing my first team in. And then Leicester. And we have got a 4-0 advantage in that game. So, I mean, a huge advantage to be taken in. So, I'll come back to you once we've got more offers for our players. Or, we've got a lineup ready for Aston Villa. So then, guys, this is the lineup here. Man City come back in for Calvo Lewin. But I didn't include it in the recording because... He isn't going anywhere as long as I'm here and I can prevent him from leaving. Um, they offered like an extra 10 million, but I, I can't replace him. Him and Richarlison are playing so well together. They link up perfectly with um, Deli Alley as well. And this is the team we're going to be playing against Aston Villa, I believe. Aston Villa, yeah. In the third round of the FA Cup. So... This is quite a big game too because I want to do as well as I can in the Cups because realistically we're not going to win the league and if we can have a good placements in the Cups it would be something, you know, for the fans especially. Um, obviously, we've got the second leg of the Cup against Leicester after this which should be quite comfortable um, to be honest. I mean, we're 4-0 up in that game so I'm hoping we've got what it takes just to seal it, seal it over the line. But you never know in football, anything's possible when, at the end of the day, you know? Anything is possible. But Van der Beek into the core rate. Allen, ball over the top. Richarlison hits the post, very unlike him. But nevertheless, a great opportunity inside of 20 minutes. And we're going to encourage these boys because they are playing decent. Oh my God. Leon Bailey with an absolute rocket into the top right corner. And now the pressure's on us. 
We're the ones that got to get the goal. We're going to take that off um, and try and work for this goal. A beautiful goal from Leon Bailey. Um, I can't... I'm going to be honest, I didn't expect him to hit it like that. Um, but nevertheless, can't take anything from the young man. A fantastic goal. And it's a great win there. Van der Beek, Delhi. Richarlison 1-1 one, one. and just like that we're back in the game when my players get the ball and especially that front three including or well, front four including Van der Beek is sensational it really is Delhi ball over to Richarlison is he on side? Award us Richarlison two goals inside well two goals 32 minutes 36 minutes four goals apart four goals four minutes apart sorry what a it's a comeback, but I mean, what a turnaround. I mean, we got a goal down to what can only be described as a work of magic from Leon Bailey. And Richarlison has just thought, I, don't, I want to be the star boy. And he is honestly incredible from him. Blessed to have him on the team. And he has been one of our talismans this season. He really has. We're going forward again, though, here. Cuts back, actually, from Van der Beek. Richarlison again. He's gone, and that's a hat-trick. A hat-trick in 46 minutes. He is on absolute flames. 9.6 match rating. Completely changed this game. And what can I do apart from praise the whole team? I mean, the heads didn't drop. We went 1-0 down to an individual piece of magic. And the heads didn't drop. We thought, we want to stay in this. We want to carry on. And he has. I am going to take Richarlison off because he is on a booking. And he's got his hat-trick anyway. Um... And also possibly Donny can come off for somebody like... We'll get Tom... Not Keane. We'll get Tom Davies on. Tom Davies on there, please. There we go. Um, but what a turnaround. A big turnaround in events. And hopefully we can keep it like this. But that's a great challenge there from Decore. Ball in again. Um, we will get some time wasting in here as well now. But we're, we're really good at that. Whenever we go a goal behind, I've always got a bit of faith in the back of my head that, look, we can get back into this because... The players seem to, to want to. Um, and that's the thing that I, I ask from any of my teams is whatever the scoreline, just, you know, do your best. Get back in there because anything's possible in football. I've managed several clubs, several countries. I've seen it all. Anything can happen. And it's all about just, you know, keeping your head up, keeping focused and just, you know, giving it your all. And that's what we've done this game. And it's really good to see. Game's not over yet, though. Aston Villa have introduced a few more... Oh, it's a great um, clearance. They have had a few more mistakes, Aston Villa, giving the ball away, etc. But we've not really capitalised on them apart from that third goal. And this has gone down, and that should be it. A 3-1 win against Aston Villa in the third round of the FA Cup. And that's all down to Richarlison, really. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. Van Hal spotted... At, um, Villa Park, Scout and Van Der Beek for the Dutch squad. And it would be a crime if he did not get called up. It would be an absolute crime. So we now go and we play Leicester in the second leg. And I'm going to play about with the team. I'm not going to go full rotation. Because if they get two two goals in the first half, we're buggered. Um, because, you know, Leicester can't be disrespected. We're also away to them this time. But I'm going to have a little play about And I'll come back to you once I've got a team which... I think can get the job done, but may, maybe not be for full strength. So then, guys, before we do actually build that lineup, we've got a couple more bits of news. So in the FA Cup, we drew Wolverhampton Wanderers. Quite a challenging tie, to be fair, considering what we probably could have got. And again, Begovic has now gone, but this is the Man City are not holding back here at all. They've offered us what would be um, about 72 million, but... I'm going to keep rejecting it because they keep going up and I'm only going to get half of that money. So I'm getting rid of a player that, you know, is clinical, destroying the Premier League. And I'm going to have 30 million to replace him. It makes no sense for me to sell him. Even if I was getting the full amount, I wouldn't sell him. Because what's the point in selling him for that? I mean, you're going to get a lot of money. But what's the point in me selling him when I know that he can do it in the Prem? He's doing it in the Prem for me right now. It makes no sense to me. Um, up top this game, I am gonna I'm gonna have them all on the bench, so don't worry, they can come on. But I'm actually gonna have Gray, Tosun, and Rondon up front. I'm gonna keep 
I'll keep Van der Beek in, Takore, David, Marilenko, King, Godfrey and Kenny. I'm going to play this team here and our bench is absolutely stacked. We can make five substitutions if things don't go in our favour, but I feel like with four goals to the none as the advantage, I feel like we should... We're not overly focused on getting goals right. So, I mean, as in fact, we're going to time waste right from the start because... We just want this game to be as comfortable for us as it can be. So we're talking no injuries. Um, preferably not needing to bring on the first team players as they get a goal inside of the first 15 minutes, which is not what we wanted. But we're going to keep it the same. I'm not going to go defensive or anything because it will then the heads will drop. But um, I'm going to tell them to focus. And actually, Tosun has come on and... He's making a real, he'll, well, I don't want to say that because it sounds harsh, but obviously he can't get into the first team. But I offered him a contract because he seems happy to come on and be that guy that can get a goal. And he's come on and we started this game and he's scored. And funny enough, so has Rondon. I'm a bit of a scrappy goal, but we're now 6-1 up on aggregate. And in a game which I said we didn't need to score, we've actually gone and scored two inside of, what, 24 minutes. So, I mean... It's good to see. I think Tosun's going to be a player which I can always sort of know in the back of my mind that he has got a goal in him. Obviously, he's not got the technical ability and he's not got the presence of um, Calvert-Lewin or Richarlison. But as he's proven, he can come on and do a job. So I'll keep him at the club. He, he's not on a lot a week. Um, he doesn't demand a lot. And to be honest, I'm just happy having him here, chipping in. And it's a good a good person to have. We're going to take off... Um, I, I literally had to take him off. I still am. But a fantastic goal from him. We're just going to bring on Deli Ali there as well. Just spread up the game time a little bit. But um, overall, this cup tie has gone a lot more one-sided than what I thought. I thought we were going to beat Leicester. I said at the start of the um, last game, I was like, managers just been sacked. Um, obviously, they've not really got any tactics in place. But I didn't think it would be like this. We're talking about a Leicester team that a few seasons ago won the Premier League. Um, obviously, a lot has changed since then, but a 7-1 win on aggregate. And I don't even think the fans were expecting that type of dominance. But that's another, another tournament we're through in. And that is going to be the perfect time to finish the episode. And what an episode has been. Consistent wins, four on the bounce now. Granted, three in the Cup, one in the Prem. And we've we've honestly got a chance of bringing home some silverware this season. We really have. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have enough, please do drop a like on the video. Drop a comment as well if you get time. And make sure you subscribe. And if you are going to subscribe, please do hit the little bell as well. Because basically that entitles you then to be notified when I upload and things like that. And also when I go live. So I'll see you guys in the next one.